Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah. So today I'm just gonna be doing like a simple look, trying out some makeup that I got in the mail from Charlotte Tilbury. Y'all, I got this forever ago and I have not tried it. So it's gonna be like my first impressions about the product. Um, and yeah, just talk to you guys. I've not done a chit chat get ready with me in a while. So yeah, I'm just gonna chat with y'all. We'll see where it goes, okay? I wanna shout out Faithful Counseling for sponsoring today's video. So if you're not familiar with Faithful Counseling, they are an online Christian counseling service and they're super easy um, whether you're on the go or you work a lot, you're not you know, available to meet somebody in person all the time or maybe you travel a lot or maybe you just have had difficulty finding somebody in your area. Faithful Counseling is a good fit for people who are on the go or might not know somebody in their area. So you could receive counseling through video, chat, text, uh, phone call, or email. So there's a lot of different ways in which you can keep in contact with your counselor. So when you sign up, you'll just go to faithfulcounseling.com slash Leah. So when you get set up with Faithful Counseling, they will ask you some qualifying questions in order, in order to pair you with a counselor in your area. And they also will ask questions about what you're looking for. I know when I filled out my questionnaire, I mentioned, you know, that I wanted to focus on managing stress. And then also you can ask like if you're looking for spiritual guidance, you know, from a Christian counselor or you just kind of want more of a clinical approach or you can do something in the middle where, where you're talking to a Christian who will give you spiritual perspective, but will also give you like that mental health perspective as well. So I really like how they take the time to ask you the question, see what it is that you are looking for and then pair you with somebody. So when I went through and I filled out my information, um, you know, they asked you to write like, hey, what is it that you're looking for? And I told them like, I'm looking for ways to manage stress better and you know, things of that nature. And they paired me with somebody within literally a matter of 15 minutes. So I thought that was really cool. It's super quick um, and it's just a great way to get started. I think that is awesome. I'm a huge fan of counseling. It has been very helpful for me personally. My sister, I know we talked to her about that in one of my previous videos. It's been very helpful in my marriage and I think that counseling is a great way to just invest in yourself, especially when it comes to Christian counseling. So I will have the information down below. Um, so definitely be sure to check it out so that you get 10% off your first month when you go to faithfulcounseling.com slash Leah. So I'm gonna get into these products. So yeah, I have this light on in front of me. And I hope it doesn't like distort the color. Um, but at the end, I'll turn the light off so we can see what it looks like. So yeah, I have a bunch of products from Charlotte Tilbury that I'm going to use today that I have not used before. And we're just gonna talk. We're gonna have some good chit chat. And we're just gonna catch up, y'all. Okay, so y'all, I got these products so long ago. Like I promise you, it was probably like a year ago and I just never got around to it because I always wanted to make a video, but I haven't done like a chit chat get ready with me in so long. So better late than never. So I'm gonna start off with the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash Primer. So I think that this is gonna just help smooth out my face. Um, Definitely looks to be a little light. I don't know, we'll see how it comes out. Sometimes products like this just kind of like blend out to look a little bit more glowy. We gonna see. But yeah, how have you guys been? I feel like I haven't just like sat down and like talked to y'all in a while. Um, the last time I feel like I did, I was like with my sister and her and I were talking. Granted, I can't really talk to you guys because you're not talking back unless you're commenting down below. That's the best way. I read all my comments, y'all. Okay, I like this. I feel like it's definitely adding a glow, like a glow within. It is giving like a very, it's not matte, but it's def definitely like a natural finish. So I feel like it's already kind of like giving me a bit of a glow. But yeah, I wish there was more ways for me to interact with you guys. I guess I could like go on live more often on Instagram or something because YouTube is very like one-sided. But if you do comment down below, that's always a great way to, you know, have like um, like side conversation with me. Cause I definitely go through, I read all my comments. I don't think I would ever get to the point where I like would never read my comments. I feel like if y'all take the time to comment, I'm gonna read it. And then most of the time I'll like it or heart it, if not respond to it. Um, so right now I'm going to color correct like around my mouth. I did not get any color corrector 
from Charlotte Tilbury when I got my products. So I'm just gonna like put this around my mouth. I'm sure some of y'all can relate to just having like hyperpigmentation around the mouth. I don't know why it is that my face is darker right there. And then I'm just gonna like cover some of my acne scarring. But yeah, I've been doing really well. I mean, a lot of you guys know that I work full time. I feel like a broken record, but I feel like sometimes I have to explain things again because you know, everyone doesn't watch every single video, but right now I work full time. Um, I do social media as well. My goal is to always post once a week, but um, I don't know. I try to be as consistent as I can. Um, sometimes I run out of video ideas though, to be honest, and I'm sure that a lot of influencers feel that way, you know, because I've been posting consistently for almost a year now. I mean, I've been on YouTube for several years at this point, kind of talked about it all as far as like, my lifestyle and y'all my face is so dry i got a facial peel so it's like rubbing this onto my face is making my face super dry so i'm gonna stop i think oops i did get a moisturizer from them and i use um a moisturizer that i got from my esthetician but i'm just gonna use this right now to kind of like calm the dryness from my facial because all the rubbing is aggravating to it so i'm just gonna use a little bit of this to calm that down because I don't have like dry skin or anything, but when I get a facial or a peel, it definitely makes my skin more dry. So I can't really like peel it off or anything, but she always says like my esthetician, Lena, who I did a video with on my channel, a makeup video that I'll have linked below or like up here or something, whichever one it is. Um, she always tells me to just pat my skin down with moisturizer. And that gets rid of the crustiness because I usually have like normal skin, what would be considered normal. So I don't often experience dryness. So yeah, this is the Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. And yeah, all that dryness just went away. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Magic Foundation Flawless Long Lasting Coverage Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Y'all, I don't know excuse me i don't know where my skin tone was when i ordered this so i hope that it matches and i obviously got this without testing it or seeing the color or anything so we're gonna see how this works but um yeah and if it doesn't work i'm gonna make it work okay because we got to be resourceful but anyway so yeah i've been doing well very busy um extremely busy not too busy though like i'm able to do the things Where's my brush? Oh, I'm able to do the things that are on my plate. I definitely get overwhelmed at times and I have you know moments where I feel overwhelmed, but I'm not unable to do the things on my plate. I definitely sometimes overload my schedule in a way where I'm able to do it, but I'm very exhausted um, by doing so. So I'm trying to find some balance. I'm really trying to find balance in my life. And what I've found is that it is a process. Finding balance is not something that you can just do immediately. It's not something that you can just snap your fingers and just have balance in your life. It takes time and like, there's certain things I just can't drop the ball on. I can't drop the ball on my actual nine to five. I can't drop the ball on social media. I can't drop the ball on my marriage and my relationships. I just, I don't have, I can't. I can't drop the ball. Y'all, this color looks off, but I feel like it's blending out to match. We're gonna see how it comes out. So far, I definitely like the finish. Um, but yeah, like, I don't say yes to everything, so I will say that. I'm not the type of person that if people ask me to do stuff and I really don't have the time or maybe I'm just tired, I definitely have no problem telling people no. Um, so it's not like a lot of the things that I have to do or things on my schedule or just things that other people imposed it's usually just things i put on my schedule to do like you know maybe i want to film a certain amount of videos or meal prep go to the grocery store work out x amount of times a week you know and something's got to give in order to create content i'm taking time from somewhere else in my life and it really does come down to balance so definitely be encouraged like if you struggle with creating balance in your life 
because it's not easy. Nobody just starts out, starts off super balanced and with it all figured out because it takes time and it's a process. Like in order to even determine what you need, it's a process. So give yourself grace. If you tell yourself you're gonna work out five times a week or four times a week and you only are able to do one or two, that's so much better than zero. So find what works for you. And that's kind of what I've been trying to do. I think that like consistency is better than perfection. So when it comes to consistency, I do counseling once a week and that's something that is a non-negotiable is in my schedule every single week. And I've found that as long as I have some staples, you know, I meal prep once a week for my lunches for the week. It's a really good baseline. Some days I am very exhausted. Um, and I'm just trying to find balance, you know? I commute on my way to work, and then I'm at work, and then I commute an hour back. So a lot of my day goes to my job. When I come home, I'm always working on other things. Um, or trying to spend quality time with Corey, you know? So it's just like, <sighs> I don't know. Some days though, you know, where I would wanna work on content, I'm like, I'm not doing that today. Corey and I are just gonna watch a show together and that is okay and i don't feel like i'm missing something because i chose to prioritize quality time you know so some t some days you don't do it all and that's okay i don't think the expectation should be to do everything perfect and do everything every single day so as far as this foundation goes turn my little light off i think it looks good i think it blends out to look very natural I could put more on it to make it more buildable, but I actually kind of like the way that it looks now. Definitely has like a very skin-like finish. So I'm gonna turn my light back on and we're gonna move on to concealer. So concealer, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. It says that it's full coverage and I don't know what color I got this in. So we're gonna see. I love the packaging and like the rose gold. This is a different type of applicator too. Maybe it needs to be shaken up. I went to a natural doctor because I wanted to get my blood work done and just kind of like see if I have any deficiencies. I have not got my results back yet. And I will say I got my blood done, my blood work done last year, just from like a regular medical doctor. Um, and she said everything was fine, you know, everything was normal, but I definitely have been struggling with like fatigue more recently. Like I'd say like the past year or so, just more tired. Y'all, this looks so odd. Like this really is freaking me out. Okay, I definitely like, I like the color though. But yeah, I've been like struggling with fatigue. Um, when I went to a regular doctor, they said everything was okay. So I wanted to go to a natural doctor um, since it's been a year later and it's still kind of an issue. It's actually worsening a bit um, just to get like a different perspective. So I haven't got my results back yet, but just from going, and it's my first time going to a natural doctor, a natural path, holistic doctor. I don't want to overdo it, but I'm actually really intrigued. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. It's a little damp. I washed it not too long ago, like earlier today. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get my results back. But when I did go to her, she, from just meeting with me, she kind of asked me questions for like maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes of just asking them questions about my lifestyle, my eating habits, my medical history. And um, she definitely, she thinks that I'm gonna be anemic and I'm gonna have an iron deficiency. She thinks I might have like protein deficiency. So like I haven't gotten my results yet. This concealer definitely dries down kind of fast. And I don't feel like I worked fast enough because my camera was about to shut off. So I'm gonna try and just blend it in. It's definitely full coverage though, but it's, it also still looks natural. But yeah, so she was just saying that she thinks I might have some um, vitamin deficiencies. Obviously, I'm gonna wait to get the results back to see for certain. Um, but she thinks that I'm like burnt out. I think the term that she used was adrenal fatigue. Um, so just kind of like burnt out, kind of like probably doing too much too often for too long. So I have to like work on balancing my stress and making sure that I'm resting um, and that I'm not overexerting myself. Because like I was saying earlier, I have a lot going on, but I feel like I can do it all. So I feel like since I can do it all, like I physically can do it, then there's no issue. 
But just because you can doesn't mean you should do it all. So that's where I mean when I'm trying to say that I'm trying to find that balance where I'm not just like overextending myself beyond what I can actually handle. Let me know if you're anything like me where you just kind of, if you have the time and the energy on a given day, you're gonna be productive. That's kind of how I am. Like, even if it's like spring cleaning, it's like, I gotta be doing something. So I'm definitely working, you know, time to rest and like physically rest my body, you know, listening to worship music and allowing myself to be more still. I'm just a busy body, I guess. So now I'm going to kind of like bronze my face to warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Mocha Mommy. And I use this one all the time. And I just use this little brush, tap it on, and then just kind of go around the perimeter, if it'll focus, the perimeter of my forehead. With being on YouTube, a lot of your success or your consistency, whatever you deem to be success, it all kind of, you know, rides on you. Now, obviously God is in control, but God's gonna do what he can do, and we have to do what we can do as well. So it's easy to keep pouring into something beyond what might be healthy for you. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily my situation, but just in general, you know, if you know that like working out is something that's important to you and you continue to work out because you wanna meet your goals, you can definitely blur the lines from being consistent, showing up for yourself, and following through and you can easily step into that place of overdoing it becoming obsessive so that's why i feel like balance is so important um but beyond that like i said i'm waiting to get my results back um she did recommend that i start eating more beef because i really don't eat a lot of meat honestly um i kind of grew up under the notion that red meat is hard to process it's too much to eat on a day-to-day -day basis um, and I was kind of eating a little bit more of a vegan diet, but she really believes that if I am, you know, deficient in iron, then I should be eating more beef and more red meat. So yeah, I've been incorporating more beef into my diet. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know this because I've shared it on my Instagram story. Y'all, I cannot tell if this is blended or not. Okay, so now I'm going to use this powder. This is the Magic Powder under eye and face so it's soft focusing light diffusing loose powder and i'm really excited about this i love a powder i usually always use this um what is it translucent medium deep by laura mercier but now i'm gonna be using this one so i'm excited about that but yeah that's basically what's going on in my life y'all but yeah i'm busy but it's a good busy but i don't want to be like overloading myself beyond what is healthy so i've been doing really well um, I do have a decent amount of partnerships and stuff, so you guys will see that here on my channel. Um, but I really do try to merge it into content that you guys will actually enjoy watching. Um, I try to get partnerships that fit into my channel. So Faithful Counseling is a good one because I'm Christian. I believe in counseling. I believe in, that it's important. And it's very, it fits into my, who I am as a person. Wow, I like this. It definitely looks very like photo, photo ready. I think some of it got in my eyes. Yeah, it definitely gives the airbrush look. But anyways, other than me, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you guys are having a great year so far. It's the beginning of March. Well, at least it is today um, that I'm filming this. It's the beginning of March and I cannot believe we're already into the third month. It's crazy. Like, where is the time going? I felt like it was just a new year. I'm hoping that y'all are having a good year so far. And if you are not, comment down below whatever prayer request that you have and I'll be praying for y'all and you guys can pray for each other. I would love to think that like everyone's life was flawless and but that's just not the case. Like we are all humans. We're all going through stuff. We're all working on something. You know, it might be balanced for you. It might be something different. It might be healing from you. It could be a million things. We could be working through a ton of things at once. And that's just kind of the nature of the human experience. I feel like whenever I'm working on something and I kind of like get that under control, I always have to move on to the next thing. It's like a revolving door of things to work on. So 
if you need prayer, definitely comment it down below and we will get, we got you covered, girl. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do mascara. This is the full fat lashes, five star mascara. I'm going to come in close for this part. Okay, so I love this mascara. It definitely elongates my lashes. It makes my eyes look super wide and awake. And I haven't even done eyeliner yet. Um, but yeah, if I seem like my energy is kind of low some days, I'm just generally a more even kill, somewhere between very chill and somewhere near monotone. That's just kind of how I am. So I'm generally not like a super excited, peppy person. I feel like with um, YouTube, people kind of feel like they have to put on for the camera and I don't have the energy. I literally don't have the energy, but um, yeah, once I figure out what's going on with my vitamins and stuff, that'll definitely help me to, you know, have more to work with. I'm gonna put on some blush. I didn't get any blush from them. So I'm gonna do my Faithful blush from NARS and Seduction. I probably should have replaced this because I've had this forever and I've never run out of a blush. If you've run out of a blush before, how? I never even use that much. And I've been, I've had this for a while. Like I probably need to replace it, but I've never run out of a blush. But yeah, I posted yesterday on my Instagram just telling you guys like, to be encouraged, it's okay to be a work in progress, it's, a work, it's okay to be working on yourself and not all the way there yet, it's okay to be evolving and taking time and growing, but I would definitely encourage y'all to, um, you know, seek God and focus on the areas that he puts on your heart to focus on, whether it be your nutrients or your diet or, you know, because it's not always about losing weight, sometimes it's like, Am I my most healthy self? You know, what can I do to put myself into a better position? Like, what can I do to prepare myself to live a healthier lifestyle? Whether it is being in counseling and healing from stuff from the past, like I'm always here for self-improvement and God will definitely lead you in the direction, but you have to be willing to take that first step. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know when I was younger, I used to be, you know, we like weary of counseling and weary of, kind of peeling back those layers, but y'all, the work needs to be done, okay? So just be encouraged if you are a work in progress because we all are, everybody. So I'm gonna do this um, highlight and this is from Flesh. I'm just gonna like go like this and put it on the high points of my cheek. I feel like this is a lot more forgiving and a lot easier to work with and also looks a lot more natural. But yeah, if you're working on stuff, and you don't have it all together or you're still figuring it out or you're trying to find your balance, your flow, be patient with yourself because it takes time. It takes time. It definitely takes time and it's okay. I feel like with social media, it seems like so many people have it all together and that cannot be what governs us or what governs you or what governs me. We gotta go at our own pace. We gotta go at our own pace. And sometimes it takes people longer than others to get on the right foot. So, okay, I'm gonna go in with this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is what I always use to set my makeup. And it makes it look super natural. I got two lipstick options. I'm, I don't know what colors these are, so I'm just gonna open them up because it really has been a while since I ordered these products. So this is a purple and this is a red. Which one should I do, purple or red? This is kind of like a maroon. Pause the video and comment down below, purple or red? I think I'm gonna do purple because I've done red so many times and I felt like purple is fun <clears throat> and it's just something different. So I'm gonna use Chestnut by MAC and line my lips. What do you guys think? It's very creamy, it's very pigmented, it's very nice. It feels good on the lips. And it kind of has that matte finish. I feel like it looks very cute. It almost is giving me 90s vibes. What do y'all think? I like it. 
So yeah, let me see what I'm gonna do with my hair. But yeah, guys, I mean, let me know if you would like me to do more videos kind of like this where I'm, I'm gonna turn this back on. Let me know if you would like me to do more videos where I'm kind of like talking more, you know, directly to the camera. Do you guys like to see that sort of content from me? Do you like to see the routines? It's very easy to kind of get like a creative block when it comes to social media, especially if you've been doing it for a while. I do like to vlog occasionally. I think that's always fun to like switch it up. One thing I have learned is it's important to be gentle with yourself. Change takes time. Progress takes time. It's important to be patient. Do what you can do. And if you fall short, that's okay. We all fall short, you know, but like be gentle with yourself, be patient with yourself. And if you're tired and like me, sometimes I don't have the energy. You just don't have it. Like sometimes I'm like, I just don't have it. I don't have it. And that has to be okay. Sometimes we gotta take the pressure off of ourselves. Sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves beyond what is even necessary. Let me just talk to y'all for a minute. I want to encourage you whoever you are, wherever you are, to take inventory and have conversation with yourself and listen. Your body will tell you when it's tired. You know, your body will tell you when something's not right. I'd encourage you to listen to yourself, listen to God. And we're not supposed to be wonder women. We're not supposed to have it all figured out and that it takes time to get there. And just because you are not there yet, doesn't mean that you are not on your way. It doesn't mean that you have not made progress and it does not mean that you are a failure. It's so important to give ourselves grace while we are striving to get to that next level. And as we are striving to get to that next step and to whatever it is that we're aiming for and striving for because so often we are looking to achieve something different. You know, whether it's, I want to be in a relationship. Okay, I want to be engaged. I want to be married. Okay, now I want to have kids. It's like, we're always striving, 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 but there's something to be said about finding contentment, doing what you can do and having faith that God will do the rest, doing what you can do and having faith that it's going to be okay. And that the goal is never to be flawless. I think when you're accountable, when you look at yourself and when you're honest with yourself, you can make progress, but progress takes time. Um, I also would encourage you guys, don't compare yourself to the next person. Just because somebody has a certain situation that you can see from the outside, you never know what it's like from the inside. You never know what it is truly like, so don't compare yourself. Um, I would just encourage y'all to stay prayerful, stay faithful, know that God is good despite what you can see, and be encouraged. Just be encouraged, and pray for me, and I'll pray for y'all too. Like I said, comment down below what your prayer requests are and I will definitely cover y'all in prayer. And like I said, y'all cover each other too. Um, but yeah, anyways, that was definitely a rant. Do y'all like the way that my makeup came out? I think it came out very natural. I really, really like the lip. I feel like it's definitely a wearable, like, I don't know. It's kind of giving me Ryan Destiny vibes. Kind of giving me 90s. I'm here for it. I like the way that the foundation turned out. I feel like it's very natural. Um, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing foundation. Definitely looks natural. I really like the mascara because it's not too thick. And it definitely, it elongates and separates, but it's not too thick and clumpy. I really like the powder, y'all. Like, I have been sleeping on Charlotte Tilbury because I have not tried any of her products ever. So, shout out to them for sending me this product at some point in 2019. I know I'm the worst. I'm definitely gonna be using these products again in the future. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because whenever I use the red carpet red, I will share it in my stories or on my page or something. But yeah, I feel like this video was kind of all over the place in regards to what I was talking about. I hope that y'all took something from it. Um, and in regards to my situation, I also hope that you guys can see that like if you are tired and you, or you are burnt out it's okay to not push yourself past that i think that in society we put so much emphasis on getting it all done and we equate so much personal success 
to how much you can accomplish, how much you can get off your to-do list, you know? And it, it, it's a journey. Life is a journey. It's not a race. There's no rush. There's no rush. There's no rush. I know we set goals for ourselves, but there's no rush. I think it's nice to have things that we're working on, but there's no rush. And that's what I've been learning. It's my own journey and I can go on my own pace. I'm not competing against anybody. That's just what it is. So, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, I could definitely do this more often, but I would need to like get more makeup or something because I don't always just have a box full of makeup to use. Um, but yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching it all the way through. Let me know down below if you liked the finished look and be sure to check the description box for my faithful counseling link because it will get you 10% off your first month. If you have tried it, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing y'all in my next one. Bye.